Hi guys, I'm trying to do a little bit of referencing what things look like in MA3 versus what they looked like in MA2. This is to help all of those users out there who are converting from two to three. Now I know not all of you are, and you might be converting from another platform. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't know those other platforms, but I do know MA2, and I do wanna to try to help bridge that gap just a little bit to make this transition easier and maybe a little more fun. So thanks for coming back to another installment of Phaser Friday. Now today, one thing that has come up multiple times is in MA2, you had this column for a low value and a high value. And this gave you the ability to see like this is going from on to off. And one comment that we've re received is that, well, when I grab my spots, right, and I put them at full, and then I make a second step and I put them at zero, I'm not seeing both steps in the fixture sheet or in the encoder toolbar, right? So if I look at my fixture sheet, I have to literally step, oh, that's the part. I have to step between step one and step two, or I have to flip through it here, and I can't see them at the same time. The phaser editor does provide a solution. Now, I'm not saying this is the best solution, but this is the solution we have now, so it's time to run with it. When you open up the phaser editor, it's gonna set it to auto automatically, which is going to be half this 2D view and half this 1D view. So the 2D view is like we're looking down the barrel of the fixture. The 1D view is essentially the form that we are running our fixture on. And then the sheet view is a kind of this combination, right? So I have this ability to see everything that's happening in step one and everything that's happening in step two. And then I can see the form that it's running on. So I'm gonna clear this out just so we are looking at each step of this together. So I grab my spots gridded group and I put them at full. Now this creates step one automatically. You'll see that it populated right here. Obviously I can store this in a queue and be good and call my lights on, but if I wanna turn it into a phaser, I need to create step two. So I can easily create step two by clicking on it here. And this is going to be my low value, right? So I can open up this editor here. And since I'm looking at dimmer, this is the attribute that I have right up top here. Dimmer is what is in step one. When I open this, I can set the dimmer to step two. So now I could easily maybe make this 25%, maybe switch this to the 50% preset without having to toggle back and forth in your encoder toolbar. So this is a way of seeing what's happening at every step. And then I just wanna look at this a little bit further. I'm gonna send this back to open. You'll notice a couple things about how this menu appears. This section here seems to be blacked out for step two. These, this is because these are the properties that we cannot change per step, right? Fade can only go into step one, same with delay. Uh, same with speed, speed master, phase, and measure. So these can only all be in step one. So I, they're all blacked out here. Whereas these other options like Excel, Decel, Transition, and Width, these can be per step, which is why I have the option to control them in this box or this box. And you can see whichever step I currently am sitting in is this light gray color. The step bar at the bottom, if I have both steps selected, they're both that light gray color, letting me know I have both steps selected. Let's just go back to clicking on step one. Perfect. Okay, but the one thing that I just, I don't love about how this view works is I don't have access to a matrix here. So if you are used to the MA2 editor and you're like, oh, I had everything in a line, low, high value, all these things, and a matrix, I can't help you there because it doesn't exist. So if we go to a matrix here, now it kind of all exists, or you know, better yet, I could, let's clear part of the screen here and I could just draw it into my view. Again, it's not all in one view. Maybe it's not ideal. Maybe you're wishing it was something different. If you are, talk to your local distributor. They're there to make our wishes come true and talk to the uh, manufacturer, and we all make the software better together. But this is how it works right now, so if you have any comments about how you want it to work, send those to your distributors, as I am not a distributor, okay? I just talk about things on YouTube very loudly. So. Now I have this phaser editor open so I can pretend it's all in one view, right? And I'm gonna set my phase to zero through 360. And we talked about this in another video. If I set it here, it's not setting a matrix. So now if I store it as a preset, I can't easily update the phase later in that beautiful preset editor window. So that's why I like to use a matrix. So now I can set my wings to two and I can set maybe my groups to four. I don't know, I don't have a lot of lights. So I don't have a lot of options here that look interesting, but pretend I had more. And so now I've set all my matrix, maybe I come in here and I set my transition for step one to zero, so they pop on and fade off, and I call this my phaser, this looks great. So this is a way of getting all that data that you had in that MA2 line all in kind of one spot here 
in MA3. So I have my low and my high value. I have my ability to set my phase, my MA tricks here. And then this, the Excel D cell transition and width, these are really creating the form. So there is no form editor. There isn't a form pool I got to go choose from. Yes, I have a couple little options here that are like shortcuts, but let's, let's be honest, they're very simple and we wanna make more complex looks on stage. So the form is really created by these tools here, these Excel transition width and decel. So I hope this helps you with your transition from two to three and just understanding a little bit about what you were looking at in two and now what you're looking at in three. And I'll see you back next week.